Praise God. You are welcome to another wonderful edition of the Word of Grace today. Today is 21st of December 2021. I pray over your life that the heavens upon you be open. The glory of the Lord overshadow you in the name of Jesus. May the light of the countenance of the eyes of the Lord shine upon you. May he give you favor wherever you go. May his angel carry you in their hands. You shall not dash your foot against a stone. For the remaining days of this year, God will protect you, defend you, and carry you on the eagle's wings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We are still on the study of understanding prophecy this week. And today, by the grace of God, we are taking our scriptural reading on the word of grace from the book of Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 1 to 3. He says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Praise God. This morning, we started looking at the understanding of prophecy from yesterday to help us to see that God said, whatever prophecy that he has given unto us, he will be committed to bring it to pass in your life. He said, I'm going to make this vision to cease in your life. They will not say again that every prophecy is delayed and every vision has failed. And I prophesy over your life that will never be a proverb that is relevant to your life in Jesus' name. Today, I want us to look further. If you want to believe a prophecy and you want to expect the prophecy coming to fulfillment, because prophecy is what God has spoken through a prophet. So if what the man has said is not what God is saying, automatically the hand of the Lord will not be committed to bring it to pass. You see what we read in this in Ezekiel 13? that the Lord sent a message to the prophets that prophesy out of their own heart. And they do not hear the word of the Lord, but they prophesy from their own spirit, and they have not hear what God is saying. Now, that is crucial and critical to your life, because most of the time, we believe prophecy as they come out, more especially as we are going towards the end of the year and entering into a new year. You will see all kinds of prophecies coming out and you need to be careful which of the prophecy are you going to follow. It's not just all the prophecy that comes out that you follow. There are prophets that will prophesy out of their own mind. Some will prophesy out of anger. Some will prophesy out of the annoyance of the situation that is going on in the country or the situation that is going on against somebody else. And the Bible says, Woe unto those prophets who follow their own spirit and they have seen nothing. So if such a prophet has spoken and you decided to follow that prophecy, it will never come to pass in your life. So two things you must consider is that prophet speaking the mind of God to you. Has God really spoken to that prophet? Number two is that are you included in the prophecy that God has given to that prophet? If these two are not cleared out and you decided to believe and follow the prophecy, you might be following something that will not come to pass in your life. And that is why God sent me to give you this understanding because many times you have been believing the prophecy that people have been given to you from all angles. In fact, sometimes five prophets give you prophecy that contradicted each other on a particular matter in your life and so funny enough, you believe all of them. And then you get to a place you are confused. God will not say something and then change his mind. If God is going to change his mind, he's going to say it through that same prophet again. And we saw those recorded in the Bible. The but one thing is that the prophecy that you are following, is it coming from the mind of God or the mind of the prophet himself? That's why a lot of people has been lied onto and they have been duped because they believe prophecy that was coming from people around. Mind you, I am not trying to teach you not to recognize prophecy. According to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 12, he said despise not prophesying. You must not fall into the error of despising prophecy. That every prophecy that comes out, you say mm, it's a lie. Mm, these people have come again. You can put yourself in trouble around that, but what I'm saying is that when a prophecy 
it comes out and you want to believe or follow it, there are things that must happen for you before you can follow that prophecy. Because number one is that is the prophet prophesying his own mind or the mind of the Lord or the prophet or the prophecy that the man is given really includes you. And these are the things you need to put into consideration before you can follow a prophecy in your life. And I pray that God Almighty is going to give you correct understanding concerning this prophecy so that when you receive the prophecy, you will not be discouraged. You will not feel like God is lying. You will not feel like all prophets are liars. There are genuine prophets who God speaks to and they still exist in our days. And when you recognize and click onto them, especially based on your covenant relationship with them, then God is going to speak to them to you. I pray that God Almighty is going to be with you and bless you and connect you to your own prophecy as we enter into 2022 in the name of Jesus. Tomorrow, we are going to be looking at how do I recognize the prophecies that are for me? We are going to be looking at that. God bless you in Jesus' name. Let me have a word of prayer with you before we go. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the word that you have sent to your people. I ask that the power of God is going to come upon everyone listening to this broadcast and you are going to anoint their spirit to be able to understand error in prophecy and to be able to recognize the prophecies that belong to them in Jesus' name. I pray as the year runs out and all kind of prophecy will begin to come out. And Lord, I pray that you are going to baptize their heart and their spirit for sensitivity and the anointing for perception to pick what prophecy belongs to them, the one coming to you and the one coming from men. Lord, I pray that their life will be better than it has been in 2021 in the name of the Lord Jesus. And Father, I pray for them as they go this day. Let the hand of the Lord be upon them. Let the mercy of the Lord come past round about you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord shield you away from evil. The Lord Almighty carry you in his wings in the name of Jesus. I speak progress and I speak lifting upon you in Jesus' name. As you go to your office, I pray the favor of the Lord be upon you and go into your businesses. The Lord will make it the business to prosper in your hand in Jesus' name. The remaining days of this year, the Lord will keep you and preserve you and your families, your wife, your husband, your children in the name of Jesus. No evil before you in Jesus' name. During this Amatan season, I separate you away from sickness in the name of the Lord Jesus. It is well with you in Jesus' name. You are covered with the power and the blessings of God in Jesus' name name thank you father in jesus precious name we pray amen praise god i believe that the broadcast today has really blessed your life if you have any comments or you want to share testimonies on how the broadcast has been blessing you you can share with us by sending your message to the whatsapp number displayed on your screen and you can also share this broadcast with somebody that it can be a blessing to and go on our youtube page and subscribe there and anytime we upload is going to notify you god be with you in jesus name till i see you again tomorrow on another edition of the word of grace keep on enjoying the grace of god god bless you. Oh, yeah. amazing